it's always been known through the traditions that have been passed down from generation to generation that we have to take care of our surroundings. We have to be responsible to the extent that we can to assure that our water, primarily our water, is, is going to be available. Water is life. I sit there and I think about it and it's like, well, shoot, Tahoe's below the rim. There's no water in the river to begin with from the headwaters. Um, there is no water. When the drought is in effect, uh, n nobody has a supply, really. When you look at climate change and, and what has happened um, by reducing the uh, water available, the decisions to utilize your water resource, you know, that's the decision you have to make. The federal government has given the tribe an amount of water to be received annually. We just finished up our fourth year of drought. We were, this in 2015 during the irrigation season, we only received 21% of our allocated water that the federal government has given to the Fell and Paiute Shoshone tribe. With the 21% year, we had very limited water to irrigate. Right now, due to the water shortage, our wetlands is totally dry. There are practically no migratory birds out here. In my lifetime, I've never seen them just totally dry up. There is no water whatsoever. We don't have a lake here that we can irrigate with. We're relying on our water coming down through from Tahoe, through the irrigation, through the systems, through the rivers, and into Lawton. And then that's where the water is stored. Look at what man can do, uh, man-made decisions, that's the destruction we have in our hands. The only uh, water right that the tribe was uh, adjudicated was for agriculture and nothing else. And um, Pyramid Lake is 110,000 acres in size and it evaporates anywhere from three to four feet a year. So it takes about 300,000 to 400,000 acre feet of water just to sustain the lake level. We were adjudicated the 30,000 acre feet, which is 10% of what we need. Our people long ago enjoyed the spawning runs. I mean, there was a lot of fish here, a lot of Lahontan cutthroat trout, you know, the trout species, as well as the, the ancient Kui fish. The lake um, dropped, the, the, the delta here formed fish. It made it impossible for fish to get into the river to spawn naturally. We're maximizing the use of uh, the water supply uh, under the Endangered Species Act, and I think if it wasn't for the Endangered Species Act, I don't think we would have the water rights settlement. We have to have the clean air, we have to have good water, we have to have healthy, fertile land in order for us to survive. Nobody, I don't care which tribe you're from or which culture you're from, we are reliant upon this. When it really comes down to it, this is where we're from. You know, this is what we're made of right here. This is, uh, this is our origin.
The water, the ground, our Mother Earth, all of these things are all connected to us.